Jumping out the roof on this one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to All Around the M, the Double ATM Podcast, Episode 5. You are now tuned in with your boy 3. I know it's been a minute since you heard of me, and uh, I hope you guys had a good holiday this past weekend. <clears throat> Excuse my voice right now. You know, I'm a little sick. Uh, I just left the doctor today. They said I got, I got the vid. You know what I'm saying? I got the V. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna say the full name, but I got the vid. You know, so that's why I've been kind of. That's why I've been kind of down and out. You know, and, uh, I've been resting. You know, trying to get better. You know, but at the same time, you know, I still got to show up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I still got to get up on here and top my stuff and you know keep y'all updated about what's going on and you know discuss with y'all. You know, cause I rock with y'all, man. I rock with the double ATM club, you know what I'm saying, the all around the M club. So, welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, and uh, let's get to it, you know, where, where should I start? Uh, the Grizzlies looking good, you know, we can start with them, uh, I know the Liberty Bowl is tomorrow as well, uh, let's let's go with the Tigers, you know what I'm saying, let's go ahead and start with the Tigers, because the Memphis Tigers... The last time we talked was the game before the Virginia Tech game, or I mean Virginia, <laughs> the Virginia game, where I told y'all, remember what I said? I said I was not worried whatsoever. I knew that we would show up that game and we would show out. Because beating Clemson, the statement win on Clemson was just really like a, a confidence booster going into the Virginia game, you know? So the Virginia game was more like, okay, now, you know, we know how good we are, so now we're just going to have to show them, you know. And I could just tell by just how I was running the numbers in the Virginia game. Like, you know, the points, uh, the opponent points per game was real low. Their points per game was real low. You could just tell they're a real slow-paced team. And I just I just wasn't seeing a team like Virginia shutting down the Tigers, slowing them down tempo-wise. Tempo because Memphis got shooters. <laughs> We got, we got uh, athleticism, and we got we got hoopers, you know. So at the end of the day, it was over, you know. It was it was over as soon as the ball went up in the air, you know. And uh, Memphis showed up and showed out, beat them by I think twenty three points, you know. So that was a blowout. Um, after that, you know, of course, y'all know the Vanderbilt game. Which I told y'all, which I didn't tell you tell you guys, but actually I did say that in the last episode. I said, I said, all right, we beat Virginia. You know, the Vanderbilt game is gonna be a trap game, so we gotta really come out and we're gonna have to really show them because we we know teams like Vanderbilt and the teams that like we got names like South Alabama, teams like that that hasn't really shown or that's been that's having really kind of a a, a down season. Of course, they're gonna show up. When you when you coming into an environment like the FedEx Forum and you playing a ranked team like Memphis that's hot, that just beat, you know what I'm saying, of course you're gonna show up and show out and try to turn your season around. So that was that was definitely evident in the Vanderbilt game. But I feel like the Tigers showed a lot of resilience. Cause I don't know if Penny past Penny teams could have um, showed up or showed out or actually showed their resilience. You know, I feel like we probably would have laid down, you know. But Memphis, we have a really veteran team, veteran deep team, but we also have youngins too on the team too. And I feel like it's a good, it's a good mix, you know. So this week, last week we were 23. This week we coming to this week ranked number 19. We went up four spots uh, after beating Virginia and then beating uh, Vanderbilt by two. So, I think, you know, going up four spots is, is good. You know, uh, personally, I thought that we'll go up maybe one or two because I feel like, you know, 
we all know how the comedian the AP do Memphis. You know what I'm saying? So we got a. Uh, it's good that you know they 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 gave us you know four spots and we're 19 and we got a chance to to do something because we don't play another ranked team until FAU, who is uh who went up seven spots after being uh fourth ranked Arizona. So FAU is in the top 10 at number seven and that's the next ranked game we have in January. So I feel like. Personally, I'm 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 just gonna go ahead and say it, bro. I feel like, man, the American, like I respect the American, you know, conference. Like we got some good, you know, teams that's on the rise, like Tulane, uh, you know, Wichita is always one of those teams. We got FAU, of course, uh, we got UAB, Charlotte, uh, Tulsa even looking good, you know, so uh I feel like it's gonna be tough, but at the same time, in that same breath, I feel like Memphis is definitely way superior than you know, a lot of those teams. So we just need to go ahead and show out and show up and show out and go ahead and beat the teams that we need to beat. And I believe that, you know, we can beat FAU. Not once, not twice, but three times. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we can win out. And if we do win out, I know that's 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 looking way, way down the road, but if we do win out, we we a top five team. We a we a one two seed going into the tournament. And that's basically sets us up for a tournament run, so I'm I'm very excited with uh with this team. I'm very uh I'm very uh confident in coach, you know, Coach Penny and Rick Stan Stansberry and everybody. And man, we got a star. We got a superstar in David Jones. We got you know we got Tomlin who just came on the team who scored eight points in that last game. So man, I'm 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 feeling this team for real, and I feel like we can go all the way. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like our biggest enemy is ourselves. You know, so as long as we just get out our, of our own way, we keep playing team ball, and like if shots are not falling down, we just we just crash the boards. You know, what I'm saying we just go inside and we try to draw fouls. You know, and we just try to toughen it up and just show that resilience like we have shown the whole year. So ten and two, the Memphis Tigers. Um, you know, you couldn't ask for a better start. You feel me? So, you know, let's go to uh, let's go to Liberty Bowl tomorrow. So, of course, y'all know Memphis and Iowa State have a rematch in the Liberty Bowl. Um, the, I think the last time was in twenty twenty, I believe, or twenty eighteen. Actually, twenty eighteen was the last time they played each other in the Liberty Bowl. And like I said, I think I think it, it should be a good game. You know, I feel like it should be a good game when with me having COVID. Uh, I'm going to definitely have time to really sit down and watch the game, which is, you know, a blessing in disguise. You feel me? So, I'm going to be watching the game and uh, doing that. So, yeah, I think Miff is going to go ahead and show up and show out. I saw that Tulane and SMU lost today, you know. Uh, I don't know. I just I just don't understand how, especially SMU. Like, SMU just got, got whooped by, I think, Troy or somebody like that. Like, I don't know, and then Tulane lost to Virginia Tech, so I don't know. But I think I think Memphis is gonna come out and show out and show up and show out. They're 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 playing in Memphis. It's gonna be a big crowd, loud crowd, and uh, you know, and it's definitely a rematch from 2018 in the game that we lost by one. So I feel like it's gonna be revenge seeking, and I feel like Memphis is gonna taste that blood and go ahead and bite. You know what I'm saying? So. So let's talk about these Grizzlies, you know what I'm saying? Because they heating up. 4 0 with John Morant back. They doing their thing. They doing their thing. John Morant doing his thing. He playing like an MVP caliber player. Jaron Jackson showed up. I know you guys seen my video, my last video. I'm going to watch the game tonight because the Denver game, this is before the Denver game. So probably when you listen to this, either it's after the Denver game or maybe you listen to it before too. So. Um, like I said, it's, it's it should be a good game. Like I said, we 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 beat we played we beat uh the Pelicans twice, and the Pelicans used to be like our kryptonite back in the day. So, you know, seeing them show up for the Pelicans and and giving them problems and uh you know just winning game after game after game is it's exciting. So, I feel like uh. I did see something about John Murray being on the injury list. I didn't want to post nothing because I didn't know if it was for sure or not. But hopefully he's all right. Hopefully he plays. 
I'm glad that Marcus Smart is back. And uh, we basically got almost a full team. You know, all we missing is Brandon Clark and Steven Adams. But um, as long as Roddy, as long as we got our, our bench units to, to, to show up, like Santi Aldama and guys like that. And, uh, oh, yeah, we're also missing Luke. But if we, as long as we got our bench and our our guys to do good, man, we're going to be good because our big three is, is showing out. Bang, showing out. Like, you can't even leave him open. He like a new, like, Clay Thompson for real. Like, but Bang, he, I feel like he's going to be better than Clay Thompson because Bang can actually create his own shot. He's not just a shooter, you know what I'm saying? He can go inside, do layups and everything. So, you know, Bane doing his thing and Jaron out there looking like a bucket on the offensive end, you know. Um, being the defensive player of the year, I feel like his defense has came down a little bit from last year. He's he's definitely still a threat defender, but as far as just him being just like that that definite block, shocker, uh, block shotter and everything, uh, I feel like he does need to – Maybe, you know, um, improve on that a little bit. But I feel like with Marcus Smart back in the fold, it's going to just push him to just go harder on a, a defensive end. And then uh, D. Rose, you know, D. Rose need to go ahead and get healthy. I know he can't play more than three games and stuff, but, you know, I got faith in D. Rose too, especially off the bench. Like, when he when he's playing and he's producing, he good. But it's just, you know, my only thing is just the, the longevity you know, and how, you know, his durability, you know. So hopefully D. Rose can get it together and um, get back up in there. Hopefully Luke can get back healthy. And, uh, man, hopefully we can do a, a playoff run. Uh, right now we're, I think, we're 13th in, or 12th in the uh, Western Conference. We got two teams uh, in front of us. So as long as we keep winning, you know, I feel like we can make the play-in. And, man, if we make the play-in and we make the playoffs – I mean, I'm pretty sure no team want to see Memphis, like, especially a fully healthy Memphis with Brandon Clark coming back. Man, this is going to be a tough out. That's for any team. So, and I feel like with Memphis being the hunter, because we'll actually be the hunter in that, and instead of us being the hunted, because I feel like in, in past years, we went into the playoffs to see real high seed. So, we had, you know, teams hunting, hunting us. And being being a young team, it's like when when you have people hunting you and you younger, like you, you, you playing the Lakers and the Warriors and stuff, like you got teams that got more experience. So now you have that built experience. So now going into the playoffs as an underdog, I feel like Memphis is going to be unstoppable. Like like prepare for, prepare for Memphis basketball to be back in full effect. And it definitely is, you know, on both ends, the NBA and the college, you know, and I believe that, you know, they can. They, I feel, I feel like both, both, you know, other uh, basketball teams can, can, can go far, like far championships. You know what I'm saying? So, um, at the end of the day, we just gotta take it one game at a time, one minute at a time, one possession at a time, and it just gotta just keep going. You know, so. Um, Man, they they looking good though, you know. Uh, I saw some people talking about John Morant doing a little gun motion, the bazooka, all that. Man, let him have his fun, bro. At the end of the day, you know he he's twenty two, twenty one, twenty two. He's young, so you know let let John Morant have his fun, bro. And uh, man, just realize, you know, at the end of the day, it is just a game. You feel me? So it's a very lucrative game. You know, he getting paid a lot, but at the same time, it's like. Let Cuz have his fun, bro. He's a great player, and he has the the tools to be the next face of the league. So I feel like as Memphians, we need to be behind him a hundred percent, and we just gotta just keep pushing, you know. So I appreciate everything. If you're still listening, I appreciate you. I know my voice sounds, you know, very uh sick, you know, but um I feel like I touched on everything. Uh, yeah, I touched on everything. So, man, if you listen, still listening, you're a real MVP, man. Man, I hope y'all have a, a good New Year's because next time I talk to you guys, it'll probably be 2024. So, you'll definitely still see my posts and everything like that, my highlight videos and full games. And I'm glad. Hey, I just want to thank um, all the love I've been receiving on those those full games too, bro. You know, um, that's that. Them full games really took my channel to a whole nother 
you know, stratosphere. So um, we're going to work some things out. We're going to drop more content. We're going to drop more highlight videos. And we're just, we're just going to keep building. Uh, I plan on getting a mic soon, you know, so I'll be sounding more clear and stuff. Um, and like I said, you tune in with All Around the M. And it's your boy, Three. All right, I'm out.